So this is a Java program implementing the Jacobi method. Uh, we use Visual Studio Code as our IDE to run the Java. Uh, you have here uh, the main class Jacobi method and under its main method, basically what it does it first is it prompts the user this message, input below the number of unknown variables followed by the constants of the equations, separate each constants with a single space. So let's head on here. We have here a example input. First, uh, the program expects from the user, uh, first is the first line is the number of unknown variables. So in this case, it's three. So the program then expects three uh, lines of constants of the equations. And from then on, the program will do itself and implements Jacobi method. So one, one feature here is that, uh, uh, after the input, uh, the program will check if the uh, user inputs uh, the, the constants of equations in dominant that is diagonally dominant. So it, this is the function of this method. Uh, it returns true if it is possible to transform uh, the matrix to a diagonally dominant matrix and it re returns false if otherwise. So uh, it returns to another method here. So because uh, we separated it, it because uh, it calls to itself. And yeah, again, it basically it uh, rearranges the rows of the of the matrix. So and checks if it is possible to be diagonally dominant. And next is uh, is here the to solve method, just the heart of the code. Uh, basically what this does here is that uh, first it creates uh, two arrays, two double data type arrays. So uh, X mainly is the current or approximation iteration, uh, current at iteration or, and P is the previous iteration. So this is done so that uh, it will compare one another in this code block here. If uh, if it's uh, both are equal uh, convergence, there's a convergence and if not, uh, it will continue to iterate, iterate, iterate until it reaches a convergence. So uh, again, uh, uh, we have here max iteration set to 100. So beyond that, the uh, program will no longer continue. So uh, let's uh, so uh, so here. Uh, let's input. Uh, let's say again three unknown variables. So here uh, again. Uh, take note that we use single space as our delimiter. So here uh, the generated output first. Uh, First, uh, it uh, this is basically the input itself uh, arranged in diagonal dominant, then the iterations itself. So as you can see, at, at iteration four, it's just the same at at, at iteration three. So uh, convergence starts at at iteration thirteen. So another input. So let's say the same input but uh, it's not arranged uh, according to diagonally dominant. So again, three, two, nine. So this is the same input, but not arranged uh, according to diagonally dominant. So as you can see, uh, the program uh, rearranges the rows. And this is this one is the uh, arranged diagonal dominant. Uh, then it's the same uh, output. Let's say, uh, uh, again, uh, six unknown variables. Let's go to six unknown variables. That's right, so six. So as you can see, uh, it prompts this message because uh, we, we intentionally put that in, it's, uh, it's not possible to be uh, arranged diagonally dominant. So this, it, this prompts this message. And if it's not uh, possible to be diagonally dominant, uh, it stay at a 
uh, it just uh, uses the user's uh, arrangement. So but still, uh, luckily we have a convergence here at iteration nine. So yeah, that's it for our program.